In this video, I'll show you how to edit a booking in Front Desk, including some great new features. You can usually find the booking you need to change pretty easily by viewing the diary screen. Just scroll to the required date. But if you're not sure of the date, you can always search for the customer by entering their name in the search field, or even by using their online booking reference number. Then click on the correct customer to view their folio. Back to the diary screen. You can change any booking by right-clicking and selecting Edit Booking. This opens the edit booking window where you can easily make all your changes. But if you don't need to change the duration of the booking, it's now even easier. For example, if you just need to move a booking to a different room, you can place your mouse over the booking, click and drag it to the new date or room, then release. The booking snaps into place and opens the edit booking window. You can then just click confirm and it's done. But it's important to note that if the move has resulted in a new price, it will be automatically calculated and you'll need to note the new price and make sure it's OK before you confirm. You can always use a different rate type to change the price if you need to. This time I'll move a booking to a new date for the same number of days. You'll notice the price hasn't changed, so I can just click Confirm. Now, if I need to change the duration of the booking, right-click and select Edit Booking. You'll notice the screen is divided into two sections. The current details are shown on the left and on the right you can enter your updated requirements. For example, I'm going to extend the stay by one day and increase the number of guests. I'll need to click Check Availability to check that these changes can be accommodated. I'll choose my room, I can choose the same room or change it, then choose my rate. The change in price will be automatically calculated. If that's OK, I can confirm and on the diary screen we'll see the change to the booking. If I have a customer who's already checked in but wants to move, you can now easily manage this within the one account. For example, if Mrs Saunders decides after one night that she'd like to upgrade to a better room for the rest of her stay, we again right-click and edit booking. This time we need to click on the split booking box. Now on the left we see the current booking concluding today. On the right, we choose where we'd like to move the customer to for the rest of the stay, starting tonight. Just click Check Availability to see what rooms the customer can move to. Select the one you want, noting the change in price. If you don't want to charge the customer for the upgrade, you can always select your free form price and then just change the total value of the booking to whatever you like. Click Confirm. You can then see the same customer split over two different rooms for the duration of their stay. If you want to add more rooms to a customer's booking, the easiest way is to right-click and select View Customer Folio. From here, click Edit Booking. You'll note that you now have a new booking screen and you can just select a new room and click Add to Booking and Confirm. And finally, if you need to cancel a booking, it's easy. Just right-click and select Cancel Booking. I hope you'll now be confident to make any changes and manage your bookings. Of course, if you need any more help, there's lots more information in the online user guide. Or you can call Help Desk and they'll be happy to step you through the process. Thanks for watching.